Now there's another element that we're not talking about, and this is the elephant in the room, but here's the thing. Why are relay times so much faster than flat start times in swimming? That's a great question, Al. She has an example here, 38 seconds versus 34 seconds. That's a big difference. Let me explain the mechanics of what makes a relay start faster than a flat start, and I'll explain what those are. And then I'll explain some reasons why maybe there's a big difference and how we can shrink that distance. So the main, the main thing, definitions, let's start with that. A relay start means you're doing a split, a swim in a relay, which means you're not starting based on the official's start time. There's no gun, there's no buzzer. You're swimming second, third, or fourth in a relay. And so the, re the lead swimmer has what's called a flat start. That means the gun goes off, the beep goes off, and that's what initiates the start of the race. That's a flat start time that can work towards a world record or a qualifying time, any kind of a championship record. The flat start time in a relay, the first swimmer, that will count. If you're doing a relay start, that means you're going second, third, or fourth and you have momentum to your advantage. You can actually anticipate and time when you're supposed to start swimming. You can't do that if you have a buzzer, that's how you false start. So if you're doing a relay start, you get the advantage of actually being able to anticipate when you leave. Now that alone should be able to drop about half a second off of your best time. So for example, if you go 25 seconds in the 50 freestyle, with a relay start, just by being able to anticipate the time, that would, and let's say you have a 0.7 or 0.8 reaction time, we can drop 0.5 immediately, just because you can anticipate the, the start, when you're actually going to leave. That's only part of the equation. Another reason that makes relay starts even faster than individual is the fact that you can get momentum. So not only are you timing when the swimmer before you is coming in, and this works for all the strokes, whether it's a backstroker coming in, or, butter, or breast, or fly, or freestyle to freestyle, it doesn't really matter. You can anticipate the time the swimmer is going to come into you, the lead swimmer or the swimmer before you, and then you can use momentum and you can actually run off the edge of the block. You can't do that in a flat start. When you're going clean, start, clean, cold turkey, maybe it's not cold turkey, but if you're going flat start, you don't get the benefit of that momentum to get you going. And so a lot of swimmers, they actually don't even take advantage of this, and that's worth at least an additional point two. Now if you're really good, it might be 0.3 or 0.4, and that's how you see some swimmers go up to 0.7 or 0.8 faster on their relay start compared to the flat start. So same example, 25.0 uh, 50 meter freestyle, that's a flat start. With a relay, I would expect that same swimmer, if they have a good relay start, good mechanics, good timing, they will drop 0.7 just because it's a relay start. Now some swimmers can drop even more time because maybe they need to work on their flat start actually, and that's why the relay start is disproportionately good. But in general, 0.6 to 0.8 is the sweet spot. Now there's another element that we're not talking about, and this is the elephant in the room, or the fish out of water. I'm here by the lake, it's beautiful. But here's the thing, when you swim on a relay, Team, 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 the team, the team, the team. And so there's this element of pride, there's excitement, you're chasing someone, or you're being chased. There's all these different variables that come into play, and you do not wanna let your teammates down, and I've seen that alone make swimmers perform. Does it make them go four seconds faster in the 50? Maybe not, but it, maybe it does. And so you wanna factor that in, there's all these different variables. Now here's the thing, if your time is literally four seconds faster, in a relay, that is now beyond the scope of all the variables that I mentioned. It's beyond the fact that you can anticipate the start, you get momentum, there's team hype, all these things. That really should be about a second or less. If you're more than a second faster on the relay, it probably means you're not warming up correctly for your individual event. Maybe the relay is at the end of the competition and you're able to go so much faster because the first event, your individual event, was like a warm up for the actual relay. So that means you need to do more speed work, you need to do more muscle recruitment, muscle activation, breath control, high intensity efforts, so that way your body is adequately warmed up because what it sounds like, in this scenario at least, that you are really not warmed up. The first race, you went 38, and that was like your best effort, and then you warmed up, you got the relay, you got the team excitement, you get momentum, and boom, you drop four seconds. So that's just one of my assumptions. There may be some other variables out there, but if you guys have been on a relay, you know what I'm talking about. There's hype, there's excitement, there's, there's crowd, there's 30,000 fans cheering for you. Maybe not 30,000 fans, maybe it's 30 teammates, whatever. But there's excitement, and you wanna mimic that when it comes to your individual race. So even if you've never been on a relay and you have no idea what I'm talking about, how do you create that environment so that way you can perform in your individual event? That means you're warming up, you're building the excitement in your head, you're visualizing the race, and you're making it happen. But I wanna know what you guys think down below in the comments. Have you ever done a relay? 
Are you good at relay starts? How much time do you drop in a relay start? While you're down there, make sure you subscribe, like the video, subscribe to the main My Swim Pro YouTube channel to get those whiteboard Wednesdays and exotic swims all over the world. And I'll catch you guys at the next video. Happy swimming. Peace.